Hello guys, welcome to Manager 14, Becoming Legend. And it's been a very, very interesting summer. Very, very interesting. Um, I'm going to go straight into it. I'm going to go into the transfers. I'm going to show you what we've done. We didn't do too much business. As you can see there, we made an audacious attempt to try and sign Stephen Gerrard on loan. Um, just having a bit of fun, really. Uh, we also tried to get Hodzic on loan, but unfortunately he failed his work permit. But he was quite happy to join us. Um, and uh, let's see the transfers we actually made. And the first of all, I've got to point out the biggest transfer by an absolute long shot. An absolute blunder. I've got no idea why he's joining Sir Johnston. Uh, he's not even that old. Graciano Pele. A st a st a just a stunning player. An absolutely brilliant forward. Uh, he's going to fit in very, very nicely. He hasn't been playing much at Feyenoord. I don't know why, because I think he's a great player. Um, his dribbling's a bit low and his, his set of pace is a bit low, but his mental attributes are top class. Uh, he's got 15 finishing, 16 heading, so he's going to play that lone striker role very, very well. I'm looking forward to getting him into the team. Um, as you can see, I'm not paying any wages either, but I am paying 46 and a half k a month, which is... Um, not a bad deal considering we've sold the likes of McGowan for one million. Um, and for my first season here, we sold the likes of um, Hasselbank and Manus uh, for half a million. So to get him for about half a million is quite a good deal, I reckon. Uh, and he's going to do a very nice job up front um, because we were lacking up front because blackson has gone out. We went back to his original club. Um, Hasty, our young striker's gone out on loan. We've got Pele now up front with Zagoni. Um, might need to strengthen up a tiny bit, but it re really is just a young player would do, just a backup player. Um, Zagoni's, you know, it's definitely going to be worth keeping. We've got a sort of Italian feel to the side now. Kikoletti and Francesco Canuto. Uh, two quality, absolutely quality players. Um, yeah, we've sort of got an Italian slash Scottish feel now. Uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be a very interesting season. And it's going well as well. Um, started off, Anderson had a testimonial. I haven't seen these before in Football Manager. It's nice to see them in the game. Anderson got a testimonial. It was a friendly. Uh, and he picked up a goal in it. So it's very nice to see him getting a goal in his friendly. Friendlies don't really matter to me, to be honest. I'm not going to go over the friendlies. Um, but then Euro Cup, we were drawing against AAB. Um, quite a good team. Uh I think they're Danish, are they Danish? Yeah, Danish team uh, in the Superliga. Beat them 4-1 away from home. A team that we were expected to lose heavily to. And they are a good team. And it really showed how how far we've come. We've come on le absolute leaps and bounds to beat AAB 4-1. A very nice game. I enjoyed this watching this game a lot. Uh, by Tiki played absolutely outstanding. So did Zigoni. Uh, a great game. A great game for the neutral 4-1, I'm so happy about that. Uh, and then he managed to hold them to a draw uh, at home. <laughs> we didn't win at home, but he thrashed them away. Um, but to be honest, I was happy um, playing for the draw. As you can see, completely dominated possession. Great, absolutely great performance. We've then drawn against Standard um, Liège, a team... They're, they're a quality team, Standard Liège. At, at the moment, they've got this guy. I think he's always was there at the beginning, to be honest. I think he's there in real life at the moment, yeah. Uh, he, he's a quality striker. He, he played very well against us. <coughs> Sorry. Um, Poker, a good young Belgian. Uh, they've got a very good team. So I thought they might be able to get the better out of us. Um, but they didn't. Yet again, we won 4-0 uh, in our first leg. Fresh, another quality team in Europe. Abdel Osman this time had a great game. By Tiki as well. Um, Joe McKee, three players getting over an average, uh, over a rating of 9.0, which is always good to see. Um, you know if a player's played over 9.0, they've had an absolute blinder. Um, Ian Watt as well, the 17-year-old, amazing regen. This guy, 17 years old, look at him. Big clubs have been in for him. Tottenham are absolutely mowing him down at the moment. Hopefully I can keep him on. He's only got two years left on his contract. I want to keep him at St Johnston. Even though I'm not going to stay here that long, I want to leave St Johnston good enough to carry on the success that I've I've ranked them. We then went to Dundee in the league. Um, it, it, it was an alright game. We didn't play our strongest team because I've been resting our players for Europe. Um, but we seem to still do well. As you can see, we sacrificed a lot of possession by playing a weaker team. But 
the boys still did well. Uh, the youngsters still impressed. As you can see, Osman knocked it down to Zagoni. Greenhouse from that left-hand side. Greenhouse had an absolute blind. He's been playing very well. Um, he didn't get much games towards the end of the last season. But when I play him, it's not that much. But when I do, he always seems to impress. Um, I can see Goofy here picked it up. He had another great game. Played in Zagoni. And Zagoni just placed it in the bottom left-hand corner. <laughs> Even without Graciano Pella, I think I would have been fine with Zagoni. Um playing up front every game but now with Grazioni Pele to add to this team it's going to be very good he hasn't played yet and as you can see Greenhouse scored a stunning goal there from outside the box or just inside the box um, a lovely goal there they got a penalty of course they did Westwood always got almost got his hands on it but still went into the bottom of the net uh, we then went off to standard knowing that we just had to not lose by more than four goals to win go through um, we lost by one goal uh, in Belgium which is still a good performance um, e even though we progressed this game alone I was still impressed with losing 2-1 to a standard decent result um, especially considering it is sort of unlucky um, but it was a good performance as you can see now we're sitting fourth in the league um, but we've only played one game doesn't really mean anything um, yeah I'm looking forward to this season I'm Definitely thinking this is going to be my last season with Johnston. I might leave soon. Uh, I was considering, I don't know if I should say this, if I get knocked out of Euro Cup, I might just resign because there's not really too much more I can do in the league. Um, a problem I've had in the transfer market, that's why I haven't signed many players at all, is that I can't, there's no, the players I've got in the team, that are, honestly, there are no better players available that would really be willing to join us. I've literally got every player that is willing to play for St Johnston, the best players that are willing to play for St Johnston, are that everyone in the transfer win market that I can realistically sign would not get into the team. Um, which shows it's an absolute mission to do well for St Johnston. Um, I'm tempted to stay on and do it, but I, I, this series isn't about St Johnston. It's about me as a manager, and it's not going to do well... Um, for my reputation just staying in this league battling for second and then pinching first off Celtic um, it's going to be a long term project to beat Celtic so I think my work here is really done um, whether I'll complete the season or not you'll have to find out um, it depends how it goes um, realistically the only thing more I can do is get a bit more success in Europe um, that's what, that's what it's going to do. I'm, the further I go in Europe, the more I can improve the team. Um, it's money as well, basically. I've only got three and a half million uh, and a wage budget of 39k. Um, oh, do you hear me on BBC website? A wage budget of uh, 90, 39k a month. It's, it's hard to make a much better team than what I've got. Um, as you can see, also see on the transfers, I signed a decent youngster called Callum Oakley. Uh, he's, a, he's a regen. He could be decent, I don't know. I like buying a lot of young keepers, um, just rotating them around, sending them out on loan. I like to have a good good keeper, and then uh, the rest I like to have youngsters. Blackman now is not really a youngster, he's a, he's a top goalkeeper. I'm going to have a problem soon whether to pick Westwood uh, or Blackman, because Blackman is catching him up. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting season. I want to see how well Graziano Pele, leave, leave it in the comments. Do you think he's going to outperform? Uh, Hodzic in his first season at St Johnston if you've watched since that that long ago uh, respect if you remember the days of Hodzic will Graziano Pele do that well I think he is a shooing sh contender for a top goal scorer but uh, Zagoni I think is definitely going to be piling the pressure on Graziano Pele Pele has not got a guaranteed first team place it's going to be a good season guys We've got a few regens. I want to show you a few regens that are coming through. Blair Murdoch, I'm playing him a bit more. I've promoted quite a few. Carl Watt. Um, none of these are outstanding. None of these are good as Ian Watt, but I've promoted a few, forcing them into the first team. See if that grows. You give a couple of regens a few games in the first team, they're going to grow very quickly. Um, yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. Tune next episode where we'll decide, we we'll, won't decide, but we'll find out if we're in the Euro Cup group stage. Uh, with Metalis in the playoff leg. Then a couple of difficult games in Scottish Premiership. We've got Kilmarnock and Motherwell. Rangers. It's a tough, tough run in. Hopefully we'll do well. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.